Fred Williams, XL Prime. Array constants in a formula. You can use array constants in your formulas and mix them with ranges or combine them. What do you mean by array constants? Here we have January, February, March. Just general information. Let's say you have to prepare quarterly information and you find that you're typing January, February, March 30 times a day. And you're saying this is just overbearing. This is crazy. You can simplify life by adding that information as an array constant in a named dialog box. What we do is go to formulas, define names, name manager in the new. So we go up here, formulas, define name, define name, and then new name, call this quarter one, leave it workbook, and then you can just type in, and you have to type it exactly as shown here, equals January, February, March, down here in refers to. We've gone over this before, but this is just a quick reminder. You can do it for quarter one, quarter two, you can do it quarter three, quarter four, or pretty much anything. Anytime you put in January equals quarter one, and here's a helpful little guide here, you can just hit quarter one or just start to spell it, hit enter, and your data is spit out automatically. Now, if you have to do this 40 times a day, you just saved yourself a, a whole bunch of time. Control Z, get out of that. You could also go in, it hit quarter one, you're gonna have to hit control shift enter. If you want to transpose this information, we want this in say C16. We want these months in a single column, hit transpose and C9 to H9, and it will print that information out in a column format. Brad Williams, XL Prime, Williams out.